What's good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We're actually doing some bow hunting, just like I promised. We have... Okay, guys. I'm actually out here. I just, I just started the intro. I'm walking through this field, but there's actually deer in the field. I think we should try to stalk them. I mean, that, that sounds good to me. We'll move up a little bit closer. Actually, right now I'm going to ditch this climbing stand because it is so heavy and it rattles. It's noisy. If we're even going to get remotely close to these deer, I'm going to have to take these things off. I'll get this thing off. I'm gonna try to raise up right here and get some footage of them. Let y'all see what I'm looking at. Okay, never mind. They see me now. See them out there, guys. They're right there. They definitely see me. All three of them's looking at me, but I think they're does, so that's okay. So I guess I'm back to plan A. Gonna put the big climbing tree stand back on my back. Still try to be as quiet as possible, but let's just go ahead, get in the tree, and let the deer start coming to us. Now it's a little wet out here, a little chilly, but don't fear, I got my waterproof KG gloves on. You see them right there? No, you don't. You see them? No, you don't. Now I like the fact how I'm like literally walking to the deer over there, and they like don't even care. Like they almost act like they wanna fight me. I mean, they kinda just out here chilling. You feel me? Okay, guys. I'm up in the tree right now, and uh, it's raining again. Literally every time I've been hunting this year, it rains every single time. I can't get away from it. I think I'm cursed. I really do. But I tell you what, guys, it is pouring the rain, and it's cold rain too. Goodness, my camera's gonna get soaked. What is this? I'm gonna have to cover y'all up with my hat. I tell you what, guys, if I don't see anything else for the rest of the night, the second half of this video, we're still gonna be deer hunting, but it's gonna be a little bit different style. I believe I'm gonna try a little bit more of the stalking method. Okay, guys. It is the next day. We're actually out here and we are going to go stalk deer hunting. Now today, I've dressed pretty light. I got a small backpack on, just my bow, not a lot of accessories with me. And I've done that for a couple reasons. One, so I'm not going to be weighed down. It'll be easier to cover more ground. I won't be carrying as much weight. And two, I'll be a lot quieter. And another really cool thing about being quieter is I actually watched a little, you know, how to camouflage and be sneaky YouTube video by a Navy SEAL. And he said, once you get all your equipment on and stuff like that, he said you should do the jump test. And what that is, is you jump up and down and see if it rattles anywhere. And then if it does rattle, fix it. So here we go, jump test number one. Yeah, that's pretty loud. We need to tighten some stuff up. So I'm gonna get this right here on the backpack, clench it up in front, and I think I still heard some, so I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more. That way we're good and tight. Now let's jump. Okay, we're good to go. We're quiet. My backpack's not gonna be jangling around. Now as you may be able to see behind me, the wind is blowing a little bit. However, that shouldn't hurt us if we if we keep that in mind and try to keep the deer upwind of us. And another really good thing that most people don't really think about with wind is it kind of acts as a cover sound. You know, kind of like cover scent if you like drink some red fox pee or something. The wind covers up your sound. And now guys, we're ready to head out. But before I head out, I do want to address some comments in the last deer hunting video. And they were saying stuff like, Kendall, you're the worst deer hunter ever. You can't kill a deer. You're not even good at deer hunting. I know, guys. I've been trying to tell you this. It has been no secret. I'm not good at deer hunting. Like some of you guys are acting like I'm a professional hunter. I'd like to know who told you that. Because they flat out lied. Who said that? Was it Sheba? Sheba, where you at? Did you tell them? She said she didn't, so it must have been Peanut. Now, squirrel hunting? Squirrel hunting's different. I'm a self-proclaimed expert. But deer are not squirrels. They have brains. Big ones, too. But now that I've went through that deer brain over the hill, let's go ahead and let's start hunting. And also, a lot of people said I should stop talking, but, like, I'm a YouTuber. I don't know how to do that. I'm not good at not talking. That, that's kind of my job. Hashtag Grey Gang. Hashtag Jesus. But today, I'm gonna defy the odds. I'm gonna stop talking. At least for a few minutes anyways. Let's get going. I think we'll kill one today. Run. And I'm 
such a good sniper. She has no idea I'm even here. Eat that, deer hunting haters. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? That's her butt. That's all I can see. That may be all we can get. That's a pretty sign if you ask me. Uh-oh, she sees me. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm going down. Man, man, I just want to thank all my fans out there. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my family. I want to thank all the great gangsters out there who supported me. I want hey, to... Kendall, you have not killed the doe yet. Who, who, who said that? That was Brogro. Brogro's trying to talk to me. But then again, he is kind of right. I should probably try to go kill that deer. She saw me. Well, I tell you what, guys, it was a good run. It was a solid five-yard stalk, but she just ever overcame me, man. She, uh, she's got senses of steel. Gotta give her credit, man. She's a good-looking squirrel. I mean, I mean, deer. Can't really say y'all didn't expect it. Thanks for the support, guys. Bow hunter, big game hunter, expert marksman, gluteus maximus, algebra. Well, boys, you win some and you lose some. Just turns out, uh, I lose a lot. And I never win. But that's just another part of being Kendall Gray. Hashtag loser. But as I literally preached in my last video, whenever you mess up, whenever a problem happens like that, it's usually pointing to a way that you can grow as a person. Now you may be looking at this situation saying, Kendall, dude, you literally stalked it five feet on blacktop and it still busted you. Or you can look at it and say, if I had been practiced, with 35 yard range, I wouldn't even had to go those five feet. I could have just shot him from where I saw him. So if you really think about it, not only do I need to work on stalking better, but I also need to increase my range with my bow. Because if I can increase my range with my bow, that'll open up a ton of opportunities for me. Now, am I good at shooting my bow? I ain't even gonna answer that question. Right at the end. Right at the end. Oh, man.
I knew it wasn't a real deer. I knew it. Go. And we're wanting to advertise some of, some of Kettle Gray stuff, which you can buy at kettlegray1.com slash shop. And here's some stuff you can buy. You can get stickers. You can get the bracelets. And then you can get the pop sockets. And then he's got a cap. And then he's got the second cap, and it's the camo cap. And thank, thank you for watching Kettle Gray's vlogs.